If the person near you looks sad, find another partner and say, neighbor, how precious is the name of Jesus. And if this is the church of God in Christ, y'all can say it like you're happy. Tell him his name is so precious that living he loved me. Is he precious to you? Oh no, I said, is he precious to you? Leave it as hot as you can. If he's precious, clap your hands and say precious is his name. All right. You may be seated. Grandma would say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, brothers, and all that he's done for me, why am my soul cries out? Come on, I can't hear you. What does your soul cry out? I thank God for saving me. All right, retire. Be seated in his presence. We have a little ways to go. Go! Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I was glad when they said unto me, Y'all be seated, please. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Let me ask a question. Is there anyone, bring this down some, in this church that still believes in miracles? Don't respond with your hands. Let me hear your mouth. Does anyone believe in miracles? So many people, this is good, don't touch it no more. So many people are dying without being prepared. I, I know y'all tired of hearing about COVID, but over 7 million people died. But look at your neighbor and tell them I'm still here by the grace of God. Tell that neighbor, you need to find out why you still here. Give me my monitors back, please. You need to find out why you here. One reason, thank you, is to praise him. If the Lord should come back tonight, what would you want your last words to be, your last physical motion to be? Now, normally I'm supposed to be poised and I'm about to give honor because we at workers meeting. But um, I need some young people because my generation don't dance no more. And some of us are the same age, but we don't age fast. Because God says when you praise him, he'll renew your youth. Some of y'all looking old because you ain't got no more dance. You're letting titles take over your worship. But at the end of the day, you won't be a preacher when you get to heaven. All the titles going to drop off. Won't be no need for prophesying in heaven. Can I talk to you? But there was a creation that God made called Lucifer. The devil, Dr. Miles, and he's going to hell now. Y'all know that, don't you? Oh, hell ain't even a word no more, but he's going there. And he's not going there for smoking weed. 
Y'all don't know what that is up here. He's y'all three blocks from where they sell it. He's not going. He's not going to hell for drinking. He's not going to hell for being a lesbian or part of the LGBTQI community. He's going to hell because he refused to do what he was created for. He was created to worship. And when you come in God's house and you don't move, you remind God of a creature that he created that refuses to give God glory. You're not going to heaven because you're a good preacher. God told me tonight, and I have not slept, he said, those that praise me tonight, I'm going to give them a miracle before March is over. He said, don't play, but to those, cut these monitors up, but to those who don't, I'm going to let them know what it feels like to be stripped, to struggle on their latter end. Our problem is we don't fear God no more, we're too familiar. God don't work for us. Praise is what you do when you're not singing. When the music stops playing. So at the count of three, you ain't got to dance, but find your praise somewhere. It can be in your hands. People ask me, I got to talk to folk I know. It's been 30 years since I preached here. A mother named Mother Beckett brought me here. I wasn't available. She called my phone herself. I said, baby, the Lord wants you here. And I came here. We had a good time. And at the time, my brothers, who were the group guy, Teddy Riley, bought a sound system for this church because we didn't have no sound. No, I got a lot of years up here. When we were all brothers and ministers and elders, and now we bishop, archbishop, pontiffs, and apostolic fathers. And they looking at me like they my bishops. But we go too far back for this. This is prophetically to you, Bishop Golden. You may not believe me, but remind yourself this. What's happening in this jurisdiction is the rebirth of the church of God in Christ. All of the oils of the fathers, y'all don't hear me, are coming together through the children so that the latter days will be greater this is not a repeat. Some of y'all knew it. You're just too afraid to say it. I get in trouble all the time. That's why they invited me. But at the count of three, just two minutes of praise. And to the millennials and Z's and Alphas that got fancy footwork, do the thing because I got some too I dance because you're looking at an ex-stroke victim you remember Bishop Braxton I had a stroke was paralyzed I ain't about to act like that hold on now hold on now don't try to tell us what beat we, we, we gonna shout on We got some older saints here. Bring that down a little bit. Bring them clicks down. Bring it down to about 150 something, 160. Bring the click down. How he know music? Because I played for my pastor. There you go. See? Yeah, yeah. right there. Everybody can catch their breath. Hold on, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't try to have church without me. I want you to praise with something in mind. 
And that is, I need a miracle in my hand by the end of the month. Put a mandate on your praise. Hold the music. Put a mandate on it. By the end of March. I'm quickly looking for a young man. I don't know if he's here. McIntyre. Who's McIntyre? If you're in here, don't raise your hand. Raise your voice. Oh. Because I'm not looking for you. How are you, sir? Good. How old are you? 32? Um, you're about to get a new home. And God says, I don't know what this means. Whose church does he go to? Yours? Okay. Well, then, uh, Bishop, jurisdictional bishop, I want you to tell him he's going to open up his own business. I see three trucks, two vans. I see brooms. I see all kinds of things. What do you do right now? You have a flower business right now. Um, Brother McIntyre, you're about to open up a whole nother business. This one is going to, like flowers flourish, but I'm not being fancy. But you're going to dance. I hear young people's names. Nichols. Who's Nichols? I said I'm not doing no hands, didn't I? What's your first name? You a junior? I want to talk to you too. Oh no, I do the same thing I've been doing for 30 years. I became a bishop, but I'm a prophet first. I'm staying that first. April the 18th? All right, I want to say something to you. To you. Now, if you mothers were like our grandmothers when the Lord's speaking, if y'all had your, your mama's or you'd have been like, hey, hey, whoo, whoo. See, but my grandmama would have cut the fool on that. Hey, yes, yes, Lord. Y'all better go find that oil. Because grease and oil only feel the same. You're going to be one of the greatest preachers by the end of this year. But God says, separate from false young people today. Cut my monitors up or leave the gain up in them. Whose church do you belong to? You're a Baptist preacher. Coming up in a Koji convocation, getting a prophecy. Tell you, God got other sheep that are not of this fold. You're a smart young man. You're about to be fully blessed. There's another young man, Q-A-A-M-E-L, like Quamel, Quamel. Your last name starts with a B, Baynard, or something like that. All right, I want to say something to you too. Don't worry, all of you that don't believe can be seated. Because we old now, we don't need no more appointments. When we were young, we had to be careful so we can have enough revivals to pay for college. You three men is where this dance going to start, except one of you can dance. Uh... Did you go to college? Um, what church are you from? Good. Um, I'm going to say a word. If it makes sense, I want you to act like you're going to run to the side. But God says he's going to pay you six figures to work in the financial district. All right. I got... 
because I don't know the rules. Where are you working right now? ADP, what is that? Oh, financial services. Oh, okay, ADP. So, at the count of three, the music's gonna play. You're gonna be dancing as if this month is the month of your whole new beginning. Michaela. Who's Michaela? Michaela, Michaela, Michaela. Who's that? If they ain't screaming, then I'm moving forward. You heard that screaming? You got some good ears. What's your name? Tyrone Scave. Where are you? How are you? You know, your last name sounds like a color. See, I'm looking for a Michaela Loud Brown. How you know? You know her? You, you know her personally? Call her and tell her her husband's birthday is January the 30th. D E M A D E M it's it's weird. So whatever it is, it's weird. Huh? Okay. I don't mind having prophetic assistance. If she dances wherever she is, where uh, when she should be here. This was the night for her and him to be cleared for a house. Something, and God would have given him a great job that doubles the pay of some furniture store. The furniture store is named after my brother, Aaron. To the person over here that's now believing but talked about me negatively for a long time, I forgive you. Whichever one of you it is, you know who you are, but whichever one. Never judge who you don't know. That's a terrible thing because I tell people, how you going to act when God puts what you need in someone you don't like? Are you going to be proudful enough to let it go? Or humble enough to repent. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to repent. Well, go and tell her what I said. I ain't Cleo. Go and tell her what I prophesied. I ain't getting on the phone. I'm still old school. Now the new prophets would have took the phone and called the phone number. But at the count of three, you're going to dance. And names continue to come to me because God says they need to go back to believing in miracles. All of us, we can become so familiar with God. You have a church? If I told you when they dance, walk down the steps cool and just do your dance of jumping up and down, whatever your dance is, and told you that God was going to redo property, would you believe me? Hacha! Oh my fear. I don't need music. I'm telling you, I got it. This is your final prayer. Lord, I'm frustrated. I need you to help me. God said, tell him I hear him. Now, all the other prophecies were basic, but yours is a little personal. Because you've worked hard and you've walked away from some things. So 
the Lord says, when we get into the praise, if you just obey that little move, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Going to be blessed beyond measure. The harvest is here. I don't hear nobody's mouth. I hear your hand. I'm almost done with this. So at the count of three. How many Harrisons do we have in this building? That's a. If, if you don't talk, then I'm going to miss you. I heard three, and then she ain't even getting the number. She just said, over here. <laughs> like the rest of y'all don't matter. <laughs> and how many Thompsons? Call that number out. Call it all the way through the hallway, last name Thompson. Every Harrison in here, because I can't do it the way that time won't allow, you, you are about to experience being debt free. One of you are going to be healed from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet. Hold on. We are on streaming also, right? So is streaming acts to give an offering to? So then they deserve some prophecy. So let me throw Harrison out to the stream world. The Bible said he sent his word. Harrison, Harris, Harrison, uh, first name Chris. With, with a C, almost like I'm spelling crystal. Excuse me? Well, we know that. That's why we said we're looking at the streaming. <laughs> but if you can help me, do you know her? Yeah. Oh, all of y'all know her? Yeah. That's your member too? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Is your member? Well, talk to me, preacher. Yes, I remember when you were just a great old singing young man. <laughs> Bishop in the Lord's Church. What's her name? Crystal. Oh, so it is Crystal. Yes, Do you know how to reach her? Yes. Tell her God is placing two angels around someone named Christian. Oh. No, 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 hold on. <laughs> Christian's not here, he's in another state. Oh. Amen. Someone's going to be happily married. Her name is J A M E A, like Jamea, Jamea. You know why you brought me. They don't know why you brought me. This church was founded on prophecy before we were all born. We never called our founder Bishop Mason. He was Apostle C.H. Mason. In the beginning, I'm saying, this was founded on five-fold ministry. All right, I'll leave it. Y'all don't want to admit that either. Did you reach her? Is she married? Oh, tight marriage. Tell her Prophet Hall's just talking about your whole family. Tell him he's so deep that you should have been here that he's now mentioning your sister Jill. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the name Thompson.
Chris is, Chris is born somewhere around May the 15th. At the count of three, you prophesy. At the count of three, just two minutes. Because God is here. Uh, yeah. Lord, I feel. And his mercy endureth. I can't hear any of you. I don't mind mass, but don't let the mass become your muzzle. If you can breathe through it, you can scream through it. That's how I feel. You ain't going to give yourself COVID. At the count of... At the count of three. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You see, you're feeling the quickening while you're talking. Uh-oh. Did you tell her about the future could get married? Did you tell her May the 15th? Did you tell her about Jill? Did you tell her about Christian and two angels? Did you tell her about her daughter will be happily married? Did you tell her? Yes, sir. Is their mother still living? Yes. God's adding 10 more years unto her life. Something strange. Years to life. It's about And I get joy when I think about it. Count of three, just two minutes. Some of you that don't use your feet, that's what your upper body's for. You do the rhythm, let them do the motion. But let everything. When is your birthday? You there in the back. Yes. How old are you? You may not dance, I don't know, but there's a new home with your name on it too. There is. It's three to four bedrooms, it's two floors, one is an office so you can do something that you're creative doing with your hands. Look at somebody and tell them what your grandma used to tell you while you're trying to figure it out. The Lord's already worked it out. I said, tell them again while you're trying to figure it out. The Lord has already worked it out. At the count of three. Hold on. Hold on. We're almost there. Etheridge. Etheridge. What's your first? Come on out and talk to me. Toriano. That's, that's your name? Are you married? What's her name? Fuchsia? Which one is born on November 20th? She is. All right, well, is her credit better than yours? You married to her. Would you be offended if the new house is in her name? You shouldn't, because yours is July 7th, and you need to bring your credit up 65 points. No real man is a jealous of his wife who can make things happen. I ain't. If I get married, she can be rich. She could preach better and everything. I ain't lying. I'm not competing with my own house. I don't want to say your name wrong. Can you say it again? 
All right. Do y'all have any children? How many? One. Okay, so who's Jermaine? That's you. What now? Oh, okay. All right. Well, Brother TJ, what we going to do right here? It's being that your credit needs to come up when the music plays, whether you like to dance or not. This is your only night. You must do it. While you're dancing, your credit's going to start changing while we're in service. See, a lot of people don't believe in that. The Bible said, and Jesus healed him immediately. Some people, self-same hours, others, as they went. So if you don't need your credit fixed till next year, that's you. But some of us need it immediately. Do I have an immediate group of people? All right, at the count of three. God is excited about your future. That's why he keeps stopping me. It's not me. God is excited about your future. I don't prophesy this many times in a service anymore. Normally like two or three and I move forward. And somebody over here mad, so what he got a gift. Whatever. God bless you. That gift is of the Holy Ghost that you say you have. Don't whatever that. Don't let jealousy make Saul try to kill David. It's okay. We're all on the same team. He called the young for one reason and the old for another. But we're all on the same team. Don't forget, you're going to have to go down them steps now. Or you're going to miss that property. You know, okay? So at the count, see, he wants you to have it so bad, he's replaying it. Can I say something to you? Yeah, and, and, and I know my brother, Dr. Larry Miles, know me for over 40 years, said say it. But once you became a bishop, I'm raised in the Church of God in Christ. I like to ask permission about can I talk to you? Because there are some people who are elite that be like, talk to me in the office. Y'all know two of y'all used to do that to me. Whatever you got to tell me. Two of y'all right up here. We friends though, but y'all know. The Holy Ghost said to tell you, because you are a student business, LLCs, I don't know what he's talking about in all of this. Tell him when they dance, if he or someone dances for him, tell him, if they're going to be jealous, let's give them a reason. God says, to show you I'm with you, tell him I'm going to give him 40 new pieces of property. 40. To house his people, to have the nursing thing, to do everything you sat and talked. Y'all, y'all sound pretty quiet. God says, tell him I'm already working on it. I don't know why I'm led to say this, then I'm done. God says there are four or five people in here that need to hear this from the mouth of God, and that's this. You didn't ask for the seat. The seat was left vacant for you. And you must stop trying to be nice to who don't like you. Because my scripture is right. I prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Not to make them your friends. To make them your footstool. Hold on.
Hold on. Woo! Hold on. All right, now I'm ready. At the hallelujah. At the count of three, two minutes. Act like we're the grand old church of God in Christ. We're the hand clapping, foot stomping, tongue talking, water walking. We get things done while we're in worship. Brothers, if you need it before March, pick them up, put them down. But y'all got two minutes. Let me hear the music now. I'm ready for the beat. There go your hands for those that got it. Wear that foot on that drum. Young people, we gonna need you. One, two, one, two, three, go!
when the music stops, you have a mouth. Be seated, but keep your mouths open if you choose. Give me my last 20-something minutes, and I'm done. Hallelujah! Just don't touch the sound no more. When you see young men praising God together, when you see saintly mothers jogging down the center aisle, when you see people who don't know each other cheering each other on, then where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. And in his presence, there's fullness of joy. Huh? Right? And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Be seated. All I need is your mouth for the next 20 minutes. Hallelujah! I'm saved tonight. People don't testify no more. I'm baptized. I've been filled with the precious Holy Ghost. And that with a mighty burning fire. Hiya! And believe I'll run on and see what the end is going to be if I have 200 out of thousands of you that would shout hallelujah scream hallelujah as loud as you can now I don't want you to think that we've had church in reverse because normally you preach then they shout but I don't really have a preach sermon I have some directives from the scripture You have been preached to by my fine brother, Bishop Roger Hennings, and my sister evangelist, Dorinda Clark Cole. Proper protocol has been established, but I refuse to go forward and we not honor God's bishop of this jurisdiction, His Grace, the Honorable Bishop Michael Golden. I don't hear nobody. His lovely wife. Most bishops' wives would be in a special chair with special clothes with their hair covered. She over there worshiping. To our state supervisor, Mother Holmes, we just so preciously thank God for you. Do better than that. Black people don't praise their own people enough. That's why we're going to other denominations. Keep us home. To all of the esteemed bishops that are on this rostrum, that's what they used to call it. Then they called it Holy Hill. Now it's only for folk trying to get a platform. But we thank God for all the bishops, pastors, superintendents, All of you in your proper ranks and rights. Can we clap for every leader and their wives? I don't hear nobody. Every leader, every missionary, 
No, clap better, put some mouth to it. Every young person, just all of you. And brethren, I thank y'all for putting up with me, but I've got to read some scripture. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, don't get quiet. We're not starting over. Don't park the car, put it in neutral. Because the passage is so familiar that you won't believe I'm preaching it. But it's Mark chapter 10, beginning at verse 46. Now all I need is a few Baptocostal people, right? Because I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn, and when you get quiet, we get nervous. But when you're talking, I'm fine. So if you're in the first three rows, just every now and then say, preach, press your claim, talk, Dr. Hall. Believe it or not, teams that are professionals that are losing do better when they're cheered. Mm -hmm. Wives cook better when they're appreciated. Y'all want me to keep going or leave it alone right there? No, uh -uh, I'm going to leave it alone. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. And I want you to listen closely, but I want you to engage as well. And I want you to just believe that what I'm saying is of God. If you don't believe it today, let it settle. Never judge a thing at first glance. See, I don't have my talkers. Yeah, I don't need everybody just amen, you know, like, yes, sir. But the Bible says in 46, and they came to Jericho. And as they went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. First thing I want you to tell your closest neighbor is my begging season is over. Now, that's not what I'm preaching about, but you can proclaim. Now, I've been in a season where I ain't too proud to beg. But some of you are tired of asking who you know don't want to help you. So look at the same neighbor. Make sure you're there. We're going to get real friendly and tell them help is on the way. Tell them before the end of March. I'm putting a date on it. Y'all think I'm playing, but you're going to remember what happened in March. It's going to be some March madness. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out. Y'all let me preach it and said, Jesus. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Look at somebody and tell them, I got to be a little selfish first. I, I tell them it's about me tonight. Tell them I've prayed for others. I've helped others. I'm there when folk need me, but ain't nobody there when I need them. Just tell them I'm not being selfish. I'm just being selfless tonight. Maybe y'all don't want to talk to me, but I need some of what I gave out back. You talk, you will receive. And I want it back like the Bible said, good measure. Get up out of here. Press down. Lord, all right. Press down, shaking together. And it ain't coming from heaven. It's coming through heaven by men. You're talking, I'm preaching. The more you talk, the shorter I preach because I'm prophesying as I'm preaching. This is not a sermon. This is some instructions. But this is for those who will jump that are lawyers, doctors, attorneys. Oh, I just can't do all of that. I'm an AKA. I'm a Delta Sigma Theta. I'm a Z5 Beta. So am I. I'm part, of the, I'm part of the nine too. Okay, but I won't shout my folk out. But what I want you to know is it's okay for some of you to scream not just when you're angry. Because black folk are known for raising their volume when they're frustrated. But God said it's time for some happy noise. 
If you're happy and you know it, say amen. amen. Many charged him that he should hold his peace. I'm halfway done, believe it or not. But he cried out the more great deal. He said, Jesus, that's my role. Thou son of David, have mercy not on us, on me. Verse 49 for 10 folk who will push me. After all that noise, he stood still. Let me say this for a preacher who will help me. Jesus does not run away from noise. He's not run towards some of you, nor your ministries, nor giving you miracles. This is my topic for 10 folk who will jump. It's because your sound is off. Sound off. I want to talk about... I want to talk about... Um, sound off. Why play your favorite song and have it on mute and be dancing to it like you hear it. Sound travels at the speed of light. I'm talking to folk who said they were going to make me preach. Silence has no motion. It goes nowhere. So if I prophesy to you, Bishop, who was so kind to me, and I tell you that by the end of March, God is going to give you, let's just say, $20 million. Right? And I tell you, sound like your father, and I say that to you tonight, then the $20 million was prophesied by the end of the month. So the word of God is already at the end of March. Yeah, yeah. Now you got to send something ahead with it yeah. that can get there before you do and sound travels. So some of you be like, he prophesied I was going to get blessed. It's been two weeks, I ain't got nothing because you were silent the day I spoke it. Hold on, I want to talk to these folk. So I'm not a false prophet, you a false recipient. Because you wanted something from a God that you wouldn't give nothing back to. This is called mouth to mouth resuscitation. Now you know them 20 million was probably real. I don't know about the date, but now I feel like what I said is real. I feel like there's some stuff I can't say, but I feel that it's real. Mm -hmm. Just remember at 959 47, it was me that told you. Because I'm giving a praise on it now for, so that what you get, we can all be blessed by. It. I'm three quarters of the way done, but what is it when people crash in their cars or when somebody almost hits you, you start yelling in your car like they can hear you in their car. See, y'all won't talk to me. All of you road rage people done got real quiet right now. Then you get so mad, you chase the car to the light to roll down the window. Because now anger has made you want to be heard. What you don't know is that whole situation could have been avoided. This is for two folk who will scream loud. Only two who need a miracle. Because in every car, they designed it with a horn. And most folk never use it. Horn 
is like tongue speaking. To a car in front of you, it says, get out the way. I only got this side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, ambulance drives near you. You don't have to move out the way until you hear a sound and lights. Once them lights and that siren goes off, everything in its path, help me preach it. Every time a child of God praises God urgently, it tells whatever spirit is blocking your path, get out the way. Devil's not afraid of your preaching. He's not afraid of your tongue speaking. But when you make a joyful noise unto the Lord, sound has its own language. It's only misunderstood by people that are too intellectual that they don't believe that God is attracted to noise. But the scripture says, five of you will push me, he stood still. Y'all acting like you want me to get out of here. He stood still. And he didn't say who making all that noise. He said, bring the noisy one to me. Uh-oh. Noise brings you and God closer. Y'all make me preach because they ain't talking to me. He said, I inhabit. Once you praise, you give God garment. You give him a tailor-made suit. You let him step into something that reminds him who he is. Who is he? He's Alpha. Omega. Ten more minutes. The beginning and the ending. Hmm. The first and the last. Y'all know the Bible. He's the author. Y'all better talk and finish it. He's a will. Jesus was not going there to heal this man. He was headed somewhere else. Here goes my second thing for screamers. But a praise paralyzed him. It made him feel like he was at home. And the more they threatened him, the louder he got. People just say, proper hole, you too loud for me. I said, my mouth matches my bills. I don't have none. Look at folk. Everybody got some. I got the basic ones. Lights. Water. He bragging. No, see, when white people hear it, they be like, yes, sir, brother. When black people hear it, he's showing up. What's wrong with you? Y'all don't believe your own kind can be debt free and... Your children going to go to school, live in houses you haven't built, eat from fields where they have not tilled or strawed. What's holding you is you won't praise them with your mouth, but you'll talk about everybody with that same mouth. He was blind. He was blind. The word threaten in the Greek, Dr. Bishop Sellis, means to fight, to ball up one's fist, to have gnashing of teeth. I'll let Bishop Hennings tell you the rest of the five Hebrew words, but it is to make faces in front of, to go off, to make the man wish he never screamed. Well, I read the text, and this is for my eight debt-free folk who will scream. No, no, God made sure that what they did didn't move him because you can't feel what you can't see. And to be a professional praiser, you got to ignore every hater that's around your premises. Once you put your eyes on who don't like you, it diminishes the authenticity of why you came here tonight. Mother gonna make me preach. 
Churches are not empty because of COVID. They're empty because of jealousy. COVID ain't the worst virus. Jealousy is. Two more things, Bishop. Here goes one, and I'm cutting and pasting. Then we'll get to church some kind of way. Begging in this text for three people was a legitimate job. Let me say it again for folk that are black that, that are allergic to that word job. Let me, let me say it again. The man who was blind had a job. See, the mothers won't talk. You got to break it down a little bit, Brother Hall. Well, let me break it down a little further. He had to go to the town hall to get a permit to beg. He's handicapped because he can't see. But he still has to go get permission to be on a certain block to beg. He has to have a decal. I'm going to see who talked. And that decal was his garments. Now, if I say this and y'all don't catch it, shame on you. That's why when Jesus called him, he took off his garments. He was basically announcing, I quit my job. Y'all ain't talking. Hold on. What? Hold on. You see how you didn't stay loud long enough? That's too quiet. But listen, he took it off not knowing if the Lord was going to heal him or not. He did it by faith because faith is the substance. The evidence of things, help me. We walk by faith. Well, he had half of the definition. He can't see. The second part of the text he now has because he's about to walk to Jesus by faith. Text does not say they won't push me behind like they should, but the text does not say that someone led him there. They said, tell him, come. What's going to make some of you scream, especially over here and a few over here, is the people that Jesus is telling to tell him to come are the same folk who threatened him before Jesus called him. Now, if I say this and you don't scream, you miss it. The Lord's going to make those that said you wouldn't make it have to come back just to see how the end works. This is for you to preach. He had no sight. But that doesn't mean he didn't have a vision. Uh -oh. There are people with physical sight that have no vision. But there are some folk with no sight, but they got a vision. And I can see the vision of blind Bartimaeus for three folk that'll make me preach saying, if I ever meet him, he gonna have to give me something. Bartimaeus was not a broke beggar. He was a beggar. He paid all his bills on time. He was not at the gate called beautiful, begging every day. This man had no debt. He just had no sight. So that meant everything he got, I hope somebody screamed, he got by his mouth. Now, if I say this, then I'm going to try to find my hoop somewhere with help. But ten of you scream on this. What you praise him for in the dark, he's going to let you now hold it when it's light. But that praise has to be blind. I just get tired of people telling folk they're going to get houses. The Bible say they're going to get them. You mad because they're going to get healed by running. You getting healed by six pills every four hours. This ain't fair. Yeah, well, there are people who will have to pay pills. Right, that's you and your crew. But don't wish your lifestyle on everybody. Because God needs a group of people that when you ask, how did you get it? You be like, I came to Jesus just as I was. 
Oh, I ain't got that. I was weary, worn, and sad, but I found in him. I'm about to go to church. The blind man could not see Jesus, and if he didn't say Jesus, Jesus would not have saw him. Let me say a different. See, when y'all talk loud on the right thing, it gets closer to you. He will see what he says. So because he couldn't see Jesus, but he knew he was somewhere around, he sent sound. And sound hit the ears of Jesus. And then sound interpreted and filtered what he heard and made Jesus go from hearing to talking. And he says... Bring him to me. Bring who? The noise maker. The loud one. Somebody probably say he in trouble now because the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent. But what about I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. Wish I had my Baptist folk. I will enter his courts in two minutes with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord is made. I will rejoice. I wish I had a church. Some through the waters. Some through the flood. Some through great trials. But 100 of you say, but all through the blood. What a mighty God we serve. I feel him. What a mighty. Holler back at me. God. Y'all stop that. We serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Anybody that knows when praises go up, uh, prices come down, just scream, what a mighty God we serve. <laughs> just get somebody else by the hand and look at them in the face and act like that's your praise partner and tell your neighbor, show me what type of praise will you give God? If by the end of the month, all your bills are paid, all your children saved, your body healed, and stress is gone, tell your neighbor, show me what kind of praise you would give the Lord. If he blessed your going in and you're coming out, release your neighbor. Don't talk to the cute one. Release your neighbor and tell him it's okay tonight to get as loud as you want to get. Because tell him when I look back over my life and I try to think things over, all of my good days. They outweigh my bad days. Y'all ain't preaching if you ain't talking to them. And I won't complain. Shake a neighbor's hand like you love them. And say, oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Congratulations on surviving. The worst season of your life. Tell him how do you feel when you came out the wilderness? Were you leaning on the Lord God Almighty? If the person's not talking, shift your attention to somebody else. 
and say, hey, Bartimaeus, why are you so quiet if you are fully persuaded that by March the 31st, things will get better? Leave on somebody else and tell another neighbor by the end of the month. I'm going to be blessed going in. I'm going to be blessed coming out. And I'm holding to God's unchanging hand. Y'all preach to somebody and say, hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You've been building your hopes on things eternal but say hold hold to God a changing hand somebody say yes grab somebody real quick and say don't get mad at me but tell them I'm a fool for Christ. And there's some things that I need Jesus to do before the end of the month. So if I need him to do it now, I got to turn up the volume and let him hear my voice and tell the Lord, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. And I'm standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, not my father, but oh, it's me. right hand and, and push the closest neighbor to you away from you nicely and say don't get offended but I need a miracle and you're too quiet tell them the next time you draw close to me bring your mouth with you cause on the tip of your tongue is everything you desire because death and life I said death and life. I said death and life. It's in the power. It's in the power. It's in the power. near someone listen if you read it if you read it in the book of Matthew same story Bishop this is what it says now we're getting ready to use it look at me it says there were two people sitting and two asked to be healed. The problem with the text, and I hope you catch it and high five my back. That'd be the first time I've been touched by a young bishop. A real consecrated one. Hear me good. The book we read it from said there was Bartimaeus and they were coming to Jericho. And as they went through Jericho and that Jesus told him, thy faith has made you well. He received this sight immediately. In Mark, it flips in and says there were two blind men. And they said, have mercy on us. The exact words. And that Jesus laid his hands on them and they received their sight. So it ain't the same people. But if you catch this and scream, you got it. Bartimaeus started what these two finished. He used screaming as they came. The other two scream as he left. 
So you either get it coming or you get it going. But some kind of way. It was a system that worked. Somebody who was blind heard Bartimaeus got sight screaming and they started screaming on the end. And Jesus said, I'll do the same for you. Everybody in the text started screaming. I close with this. Look at me and get ready to use it. Why were they quiet at all in a place that they got from screaming? Jericho. How are you quiet where your ancestors screamed to make the walls come down? And now all these barriers because sound off. All right, we've got preachers who can preach. We need to get back preachers who can praise. And find some praisers who can preach. Preaching just to preach is over. When I grew up, this is how it looked. And if one person jumps that's old and one young, we'll get a miracle. When our pastors used to preach, they didn't know the Bible's like us. They didn't have all this help and all of this internet and things. They got up and said, this is how it looked. Turn with me to the book of John. Glory be to God. Chapter 4, yes, Lord. Verse 11, read it when you get home. Because God had entered the sermon by them saying, yes, Lord. Y'all ain't talking. When they went through that praise thing. I'll prove this and I'm done. But look at me like you're wealthy, whatever it looks like. Couldn't nobody preach better than Paul. But if I say this and three of you got to scream loud, preaching got him in jail, but a praise got him out. He didn't preach his way out of jail. He preached his way into jail. A sermon without a solution is a problem. Every sermon we preach to our people should make them excited about the God that they serve. And God should have the right to cut in on anything we study. Now look at... Hallelujah. Took a simple route, couldn't paste the sermon because God had already been in the midst of us. But look at me, we owe him. If you ain't talking, you walking. We owe him. He said, let the redeemed. What'd he say? Whom he had redeemed from the hands, the hands of the enemy. The church has become too quiet. We have become the silence of the lambs. When I grew up, we was in storefronts, but we left the windows open. And people walked in from off the street and stuck their heads in because they heard a sound. And to you that scream when I tell you tonight, you will hear by the end of March a sound of an abundance of rain. Because God says, I'm going to send the blessing on the level of your noise. It's in your mouth. All right, stop. Stop, we're about to do it together. You've been driving me, you've been a nice man. It's time for you to prepare for retirement. You. February the 1st. That's your birthday. By this time next year, February 1, 
God is going to set you up a retirement package that's going to scare you. Because God said, because you've been faithful over few things. One being your pastor. The oil tonight drips from him to you because you have a pastor's heart. You married? Where is she? What's her name? Just give me a... Catherine what? Catherine Birdsong, wherever you at. Your husband is about to get money that he's never made. And it's going to be based on how loud you yell tonight, Catherine. Because his salary's in your mouth. Every wife that has a husband, his next level of success is in your mouth. And the basoto rabakisili mianda. Within seven minutes, we'll be closed. Look at me, Bartimaeus screamed. Look at me, and then he kasai. He got louder. Some of you are upset because you just found out that you were falling into demonic false teaching. You would have killed and buried your great grandmother again. You ate her food. She anointed your head with oil. You can barely let your grandkids come over and just look in the fridge and eat it all up. But grandma used to wake up and say, we say there ain't no food. She'd be like, y'all go outside and play. All right, y'all don't, and about time you came in, they call it goulash. That's everything that was left over tasting mighty good. In Louisiana, it's called gumbo, etouffee, right? Goulash. The person near you can either assist the speed of your miracle or delay its arrival. So don't be close to somebody because you know them. If they have no voice, choose someone else tonight. No, now. Like, look around and ask them, are you going to scream or not? Because I'm not loud by nature. By nature, I'm private. I'm a recluse. I don't talk on phones. I don't like loud music. I don't return calls. I'm terrible. I'm terrible, I admit it. But when I step into the presence of God, a side of me, I have to say, come on out of there. Because you're the one helping the crazy side of me get blessed. That screamer is not me. That jumping around is not me. But when me was paralyzed, me made a deal with that other guy. And said, if I ever get out this wheelchair, I will bless the Lord at all times. Hey! And his praises shall continually. Beware. Where? You, I hear you stop. 30 more seconds. You're saying, I praise him in my heart. No, the Bible says, from the heart, the mouth speaks. So because you won't let your mouth speak, you're having heart attacks. Because your sound is off. I guarantee you screaming will chase diabetes out of your body. This is the way our ancestors live. They said, baby, shut up and tell God thank you.
You don't remember? You said, Grandma, my head hurt. Come here, let me pray. We've become too methodical. In church, it needs to be all spiritual. When you leave, go back to being lawyers, doctors, and principals, or whatever. But when you come in here, just be children of the Most High God. We have come into his house to gather in his name to worship him. So forget about yourselves and concentrate on him. This is how my two This is how we on Somalia. This is how we're going to do it. Just for 30 seconds and no longer. They got a countdown clock. No, I like it. I'm going to say raise your voice, but you're going to clap and scream, but your voice must be louder than your hands. Now it's going to be a battle. But believe it or not, what comes out of your mouth will travel. When you get it at the end of the month, you can say, I knew that on March 10th. Because I called those things that be not. I'm stuck on tonight will be a miraculous evening for folk to be cured of diabetes. When I first said it, it was just a saying, but now it's a fact. Can I tell you something and then I'll close? I promise you, sir, thank you for pushing me. They did a, expose, they did a little doc, doc, documentary on fake faith healers. I do a lot of watching stuff like that, right? And uh, won't name the people that they went after, but they said that the people that got healed by faith died because the sickness returned because they were only healed for the moment that they believed. They brought in real doctors, even like Sanjay Gupta, and they let them put electrodes and things on these people's bodies and examine them, you remember? And they said, this person died of what you said they were healed from. One man took out some insurance on his hands so that if he got sued, he could pay for malpractice. All right. Then they went to little storefront churches that act like we do. Hey, Bob, hey, them. No, seriously. And they said, can we gather y'all also? And their pastor said, we don't claim to be healers. We know Jesus is the healer. No, but the scientist was like, to me, it's the same thing. You should tell people, go to the hospital. They say, we do. But if they can't get there, this is the place that they come to. And when they get there and they can't help them there, this is the place that they come to. They said, can we put the same thing on you? He said, yeah. And he put it on people that had the same ailments. And when we went into that, glory, shut up, speaking in tongues, they said, the registered, registered, heal. All right. All right. Said, and once they came out the cloud, it would try to go back to what it was, but never as bad as it was. And once they came back up, they were reading numbers. They were like, the person right now, according to his organs, are healed. Because when they were praising God with all that was within them, the organs were being renewed. Because the breath of praise invited God into the organ. Right? See how people don't believe that? So here's what they said. The people that got healed by the faith healers died quick. The people that praised and spoke in tongues live long with it. That means what we had couldn't kill us. Because God enjoyed what was coming from us. You follow you got to give God a reason to let you live. My father lives here. My biological father. 
Bishop Dwight paid for our meal. I had no idea the man said, your father and your food is paid for. My daddy, who I share with nobody. My father said, that's a nice man over there. I said, you don't know nobody, do you? <laughs> and then another brother in here came and paid for my dessert. And I can't lie, we, we have money. We ain't got them like the greens, but we got some money. We ain't got them like the golden. <laughs> but we coming up about second or third. And I was like, I brought my father out to treat him. And my father was like, this is beautiful. He's older man. And then I said, Lord, what are you doing? And the Lord said, Todd, listen to me. He said, you owe me a praise. And I praised him in the restaurant. Y'all had just left. Cut the food for about 30 seconds. Because what y'all going to miss is what I just told you. My father has been living with cancer for 29 years. He's lost no hair, no weight, no chemo, no radiation. And what we were talking about at the table to see who screamed was this. I only serve your God because I inherited him because I like how he treats you. Some of you traded in the God of your parents and redefined him. But I serve the God of my daddy. And if my daddy got him by doing that, I'm doing that too. He went to his car. He said, Todd, don't forget this boy. White beard and everything. This is for screaming. He says, uh, 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 cancer got me, but I don't have cancer. His doctor said, I, I don't know how he's living. He looks so good. I told the doctor, he serve a God. He said, what about you? I said, I serve his God. The God of Abraham. Y'all got to stop trading him in. For this internet God. Social media God. At the count of three, and brothers, don't y'all let these soprano screamers outdo the bass. Because I'm going to scream. Because I'm a miracle. I don't know how I made it. I preach for your daddies, the pastor of this church, Dr. Clark, helped build a new wing for Pastor Samuel Caruth. Preach for Mother Jones. Y'all don't want me to call the roll. Bishop Willis. I preached for everybody in Tidewater. It started on Shell Road at a little storefront. Bishop Brockington in Newport News. And then your daddy called me and told me, get over here. And y'all had your first midnight back home hour. At 11.30 with Prophet Todd Hall at St. John. Too much history in here to be so quiet. So at the count of three, this is what I want you. I want you to praise them like you have no bills. And if you praise them like it, you won't. Hold on. I want you to praise them like you have no Ill illness, no ailments. And if your praise is right, you won't. I can't guarantee anything but what the Bible says. Because the Bible says that I might receive my sight and immediately. Some of you going home with a miracle tonight. For your two sons that's in jail, I don't want to keep prophesying for a lot of things. Because God said, tell them I want to see them have it. Count of three, we're going to do the bottom ass. You either get it coming or you get it going. For them young people, this is the time to turn up. For some of you that are screaming and broke, it's because you're too busy chasing the bag instead of screaming to the God of the bag.
God anoints preaching, he increases the bag by how your mouth does when you're not preaching. Count of three, I see a lot of miracles, but I see diabetes being uh, 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 forced to leave this building. I don't have it, I got checked, but whoever has it, God said tonight is being forced. Even for three people in this pulpit, it's being forced to leave this building. He said, I'll heal you. Count of three, get ready. It's clapping, no music, and voices. That's all it is, clapping and voices. Clapping. Young man, have you gone to college? How old are you? If I told you to run in the hallway and scream hallelujah several times, would you do it? When you do, God says, tell you, name how much you want to make a year. He says, whatever comes out of his mouth, that is what I will do. Now, I need to say something to you that you may not believe. I told a Baptist boy he'd be a bad preacher. So will you. I want you to know that there's a house going up for sale again. The word again for you and your wife. God says, I will not let him be a struggling husband. I will make him the greatest provider that her family has ever seen since they've seen what they have seen. So when we start screaming, you'll, you will head to the, you'll, you'll head to the hallway out there in the vestibule and do your thing. You will be the real Bartimaeus. I won't tell who it is, but somebody over here need to scream because God stopped you from being pulled over tonight driving with a suspended license. I, I, I won't point you out because then your family gets you, but I'm just telling you how nice God is. I don't put people out there, so don't reveal yourself. Just know God's been good to you. And look at some of y'all. Who is it? You driving without insurance. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Count of three, you're going to let it out. Young man, what's your name? You're light skinned, you got a mask on. How old are you? I want to say something to you. When he goes to the hallway, if you want to go, you can go with him. But over your head right now is $38,000 for college tuition. The Lord also says, I don't know what he means, tell him I'm getting into a certain portion of his brain for his sight. God, am I kidly I'm so Something about a crazy stigmatism, something that's weird. God said, when I finish with your sensory issues, you will see like 2020. But you're going to become a genius after 12 midnight. You're going to be okay. Do I hear a hallelujah here? Go lay hands on his eyes, Bishop. I don't want nobody else to do it except you.
All right. Let's get ready to do it. At the count of three, the angels of the Lord are in this house. Any infirmity, sickness, or disease that we are experiencing can be expiated and expelled out of this sanctuary and out of our bodies tonight. Not at the end of the month. Now. Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. You've been building my shando. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Woo. Y'all forgive me. I believe in miracles. You've been building your kingdom all over this land. But we're the beginning of tearing your kingdoms down. Count of three. One. Clapping and screaming. It's going to feel funny because we've not done it in a long time. As a group. As a body of people with titles stripped and all of us just children of God. Two, you that are watching by social media, you've entered this virtual sanctuary. If you're in a place where you can scream or pull the car over, get a miracle before you get where you're going. The Lord just said, the women in here with unsaved sons, I'll save them by April. Now, I don't know what he's talking about, but God says April is the month of their salvation. Y'all are getting no music, just hands and mouths. One, two, three, praise him.
If you're able, hold the hand of your neighbor. Hold the hand of someone or get close. You that did it from your heart. Watch how things begin to change immediately. You that faked it, enjoy the extension of what you've already been experiencing. But to you that did it even against your own will, the kapresik pakuturian sabandin soya, gorian didi bakisi libikum bakai. God is about to show you His glory. His splendor, his might. Bow your heads and close your eyes. See, Jesus stood still. That's why we can't get out of it, because he's standing still. And now you ain't calling for him. He's calling for you. You get your sound back, you get your God back. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his seed. Before we do what I'm led to do, who knows him? Who knows that young man? What's your name? Trayvon, how long have you been saved? Just throw a number out there. Three years. You may not know this, but I'm going to ask you, what's wrong with your throat? You have asthma? Has it been trying to act up tonight? All right. I'm going to let Bishop, because I'm not touching people, touch you tonight. But what you don't know is you have more than asthma. From something you used to do. But the Lord said, tell him tonight at 12 midnight. I'm on the asshole. And you're asking God to use you. You're volunteering. You're like, Lord, I want to be used. Oh, okay. When he touches you, there'll be a transfer of good preaching and teaching and learning the Bible like you want to. But God said something would have killed him early, but tell him I'm canceling the death date. And tell him all of his sins are forgiven. I don't hear about all of them. Bishop, touch him, will you? This is a healing jurisdiction. This is a miracle jurisdiction. I don't hear nobody. Right. Hold your neighbor's hand, please, y'all. We are done and mean it. Sitting or standing. You don't have to stand. I don't, I don't, I really don't care about the posture. Bishop, the Lord said, you must bring a certain oil back because you found the problem. And now I don't know what he's talking about. God says he's rewinding a tape. And he's playing your own words back to you. Being that you want me, God, to be first. Teach them that music is not their God. Oh. 
God says, I'm competing with them. Their mouths are silent, but their noise is loud. I'm going to help you. I'm going to take that one up too. I don't know why I think I'm going to be on that bandwagon. There, I'm laughing because the Lord's let me hear you. There is no such thing as worshiping worship. All right, hold hands. Look wealthy. Look debt free. Look like you own everything you could ever desire. 